was about ready to f film, you know, what I'm having for breakfast. And uh, I've already been outside. The girl said, as soon as I got up, hey, we need to be outside. So I let them out. They both peed in the front yard. Sassy was just now, hey, looking at the door. So I'm like, hmm, she didn't poo, so maybe that's the problem. It is so beautiful out here compared to Friday. I was like, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous, look. Remember last Friday? The snow. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I have a package of cream of broccoli soup I'm going to heat up. I've never had it before. Well, I've had cream of broccoli, but not this brand and not this way of making it. And, um, if they're just going to stand here and expect to get a tea when we go back in, they have some information coming to them. But, yeah, I want to try it. Um, I also have some tea in there brewing from Sip Spy. Um, I just got a Tamu package. What's going on? I have to make a dentist appointment because she didn't do anything. She thinks she's going to get something. Granted, they're both senile. Hey! What was I saying? I don't know. Okay, here's the sip spy. We're going to try it. This is Talera Cream Earl Grey Moonlight Fresh Award Winning Tea. Uh, it sounds like it's a bedtime tea. It has caffeine in it, so I think I'm okay. It smells so good. Yeah. It's really good. Over the weekend, we had the kids. Today is Tuesday. We have... Hold on. Those... Those are... We're two different uh, containers. We had like eight of these. And nine of these things. We had blueberry, chocolate, and banana. And then my sister and I went to a bakery... To order a cake and she said we're getting this so we were bad hold on we were bad and uh this is what she and i bought off our niece so she can make her quota ridiculous okay where is that soup I need to boil eight cups of bro of broccoli of water here it is chef's cupboard cheddar broccoli soup mix I have never had this before I love soup I used to live on soup and I'm like, okay, I'm going to make this, separate it into containers, and have it, you know, as I need it. Hold on. Okay, I'm boiling eight cups of water. I used this. This is a two-cup measuring cup. It's clean still. It, um... I'm gonna put the rest of my tea water in here. Yeah, it's a little more. Um, we're gonna drink tea until that boils and then we'll come back. But 
last week or yesterday when was it I don't know I fell and smacked my face My tooth chipped. So I have to call a dentist. I'm going to call a dentist after I eat. Because it's right no right at noon right now. And uh, I'm sure they're at lunch. So. Alright. Going to watch news. I'll be back. Okay. We have a boiling. Let me open the package. Okay, I'm going to have to pour some in and then come back to you. Okay, I did not realize that this was powder. Um, I whisked it. It said whisk it in. So I whisked it in. Whisked. And um, it definitely feels creamy in there. Um, it said to... Simmer on low heat for 10 minutes. Ugh. Okay, so we'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, five minutes simmering. This is so creamy. It really is. I can't wait. I really am excited about this. So, I think I'm going to freeze some, put them in, um, what are they, Rubbermaid things, and, um, uh, put them in the freezer, um, uh, for later. Uh, my sister and I cleaned out the cabinet this weekend. We always buy a whole bunch of Rubbermaid for the holidays, and then we send it out and say, send that back whenever you come over here. Usually they don't. But when they do, they decide, we're not going to bring the lids. So right now we have a whole bunch of Rubbermaid. Well, we had a whole bunch of Rubbermaid with no lids. And we don't have any of our big containers anymore. Urgh. Did you see the tooth? <laughs> so, yeah. So we threw them all, uh, all the containers that did not have lids for. Because people didn't bring the lids back. Really? Really? Alright, I'm still working on my tea. And then I'll go deal with the soap. I'm excited about the soap. All right. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Soup's done. I uh, had to turn off the TV. Oh, Hungry Root came through. Commercial was on. Um, okay. This is the packet. It looks pretty tasty. This is reality. Guess what? It looks pretty tasty. It smells good, too. It's going to be hot. Very creamy. Very creamy, and it tastes good. Very hot. Tiny chunks of broccoli in there, but very cheesy. This is good. Is it like Panera, or what, as we say in St. Louis, the bread company? Not really, <laughs> but it's good. Mm -hmm. 
I think if uh, the broccoli was bigger, it would be really close. Okay. I'm going to have my soup. Because it's very good. Do I suggest getting chef's cupboard uh, soup mix? Cheddar broccoli soup mix. Yes. This is a good thing. A, a good pantry staple. You know, the, the keep if you're Oh, I don't know what to make today. Or I don't feel like cooking. This is a meal. Alright, I'm going to have this. I'm going to have this old banana too. Alright. And then I'm going to call the dentist. I hate the dentist. When I was a kid. You know, I have seven sisters and brothers. Uh, my father died when I was four, so my mom, once she finally got insurance, she went looking for a dentist, and she t said to them all, look, I am a widow. I am the only one paying for these kids. I have eight of them. Um, please do not charge me a lot. And she finally found someone who said, okay, I won't charge you a lot. His name was Dr. Fight. He was in Maplewood or Clayton, Missouri. They're kind of on the borderline. I think he was in Clayton. And uh, we all started going to him. And I was, I went in and he's like, oh yeah, you need some work. He's like, I'm going to numb you up. So he numbed me, and then he started drilling, and I started screaming and, you know, fighting him. And he's like, stop it, I'm going to hurt you. I go, you're hurting me already. And my sister told me later, yeah, he did that to me too, because he didn't want to charge mom for the numbing stuff. He was drilling in my mouth. <laughs> I don't like dentist. After I had my stroke, I went to a, a, a dentist. And I'm like, okay, be careful because I uh, uh, coated on morphine. And so he's like, okay. So he didn't want to put me out. I woke up or I was out cold screaming. And he, he kept, I, I, I remember vaguely him saying, quiet, be quiet. But I could feel it. <laughs> and at one point he slapped me and that woke me up. And I was like, you slapped me! It was right after I had my stroke. After I got out, uh, I wasn't all there yet. And, um. Uh, he, I got out of there, and I was, like, crying and screaming at people. I never went back. He hurt me. <laughs> you don't drill on someone when they can feel it. You don't. All right. But you guys have a good day with that thought. <laughs> Would I, uh, am I going to finish that tea? Yes, it's very good. Is this very good? Yes, it is. So, we're going to go get that fixed. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you.